So I want to be real here with a lot of people, considering the situation that had happened this week. As I'm recording, this is the day that it happened, finally person got caught. But um, I want to come out and discuss this because considering it was so real, I was scared and everything and all that and what was going on. Maybe some people are having, you know, some problems with relationships as well and everything. I figured I'd make this video. Maybe someone will see and maybe set them up. But, um, so this is something that has happened in my personal life with my sister and my family recently. So I'm about to be as real as I can get here. And I hope this really good and never happens again. And I'm glad that they got the person in question. So as of some people know, my sister has a baby girl, Casey. She's only one year old. Um, so that's a thing. And recently it was where um, the person that was Casey's dad had nothing to do with her. And when it came to that, and him being arrested so many times that my sister decides, you know, he's not gonna be around, you know, if he keeps getting arrested. So I'm just gonna get all rights to myself and kick him to the curb, which I applauded her for that because I never liked the guy in general. A lot of the family never did. Well, recently he was sent to a boy's home. I say recent because as of yesterday, we were told he ran away from the boys' home. And to said person, if you happen to be watching this, you need to fucking grow up. You need to learn from your damn mistakes and keep your hands and make sure, hands to yourself and make sure you never break the law again. As a guy who has been in your shoes, yes, I will admit it. When I was younger, I did that kind of shit. I'll admit it. But when a cop put me back in a cop car, and said, if you keep doing this, this is your future. I had a complete dual haul on my life. Hell, you talk to my mom now, who's dealt with my shit most of my time. She has been the one there that has seen how I was. And she says to today, I have changed completely. But back onto the matter at hand. It was where said person had ran away from that boy's home, which was in Davenport, which is from where I'm at is two towns over. And it's a good chunk of mile, which I don't know how, considering wherein I got told today what happened, how he got to said place, but that's a thing. Um, <clears throat> long story short, I was worried last night like hell. I could not even sleep because I was worried for my sister, for my niece, Casey. And it was just a real moment, you know, and I was scared. I'm not going to lie. I was completely scared. And if you've checked my social media, like my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, you will see I was scared. I was legitly afraid. However... I happened to have just hopped on Facebook not that long ago, and my sister's other brother, before you ask, no, it's not because he's not related to us. It's where my sister has her dad. I have my dad because my dad is a complete piece of shit, but that's another topic for another story. And it's where her dad had her had a boy, and that's, you know, her other brother. Technically kind of my stepbrother, but not really because um, they never got married. Uh, my mom and her dad never got married, but you get the idea. Um, it was where he works with the police station, um, her brother. Uh, well, her other brother, you get the idea. And he just messaged me on Facebook not that long ago. And I thank God he told me this. He told me they got him. The bad part about this is where they got them, uh, got them at. See where I'm located at a block down that way. Like if you guys can't notice, I have a little bit of a different setup, but not really. 
usually I record my uh, videos over there at the uh, desk, but I got a, a table in here now. So this is where, you know, it's going to be at right now. But um, it was where if you go down the, the block down this way, if you were to go like through my back uh, door, there is a homeless shelter over there. Over there, he was staying at that homeless shelter. And me being the big brother, if I hadn't known that, I would have went over there and beat that boy's ass. YouTube, if you want to flag this video, go ahead by all means. I'm being quite real here. I, I was scared, but I also wanted to find this boy. It, it was a real moment. I'm not going to lie. I was, I was kind of scared for her. But I also wanted to find him before something happened. And I'm just glad the police here in town got him. Because like I said, if, if they hadn't, I would have. So that's it for this. Kind of wanted to give an update because if people are seeing on social media, like what the heck's he talking about? What's going on? Here's the video. Now you know. That's all I got to say. Thank God they got him. Thank you guys. See you whenever. That's all I got to say.